welcome to Young Life Africa Children's Home. Young Life uh, is a ch uh, children's home dealing with a boy child. A young Life began some time back in 2003 when we got our registration for running a children's home and taking care of the orphaned and the less disadvantaged children. Uh, we want to welcome you and take you around for you to see a few things here and there. Uh, let's just walk in there. Uh, Fred, a stranger, is the manager who runs the center for us uh, times when we are not around and most of the time is the man that is with the child and his friends. Welcome to Young Life. We had, uh, it had been sponsored by a certain group and uh, it was not very well done. And uh, this bakery, we've been able to uh, make some, bake some cakes, breads, which part of the bread we would sell to visitors who come uh, to interact with the children. And uh, this bakery here, we would collect all garbage, it's actually fueled by garbage, and uh, uh, we would cook breads. And then for some reason, it was not well done or completely well done and uh, it has some defects. Uh, we have stopped using it for the time being and until we bring again the technical team back which once we have facilities of uh, uh, facilitation of uh, some money to repair it, we'll be able to recall them and uh, bring them back to have. We have also, we had also to remove some of the the stoves because uh, metal metal uh, metal parts have been uh, in so much demand here and uh, we were afraid that uh, some people would come and vandalize especially at night when there is uh, no good security we also had to let some of the staffs live during the corona time because of uh, how economic did not work very well with us and also for other people. Welcome as I show you, show you any other uh, things that we are doing. Right here, we, we have what we call uh, our dining hall. This is our dining hall. And it's as well as our meeting place. Uh, the place lacks uh, certain things, uh, such as uh, like benches to sit on and some tables. So uh, kids have to come and uh, sit by the bridge side and uh, you know and just sit as they pick their food from the kitchen. Welcome, this is our kitchen right here, my left, and uh, we'll take you through. And because we don't have, we no longer have a uh, cow, we used to have like two dairy cows and also some uh, potatoes uh, from the market and onions. And, and so, and then also there are green grams. Uh, it's part of some of the menu that we use uh, for cooking to our children. And so, here we use uh, less economical uh, um, kind of a stove. This sauce, that one is broken down. It has broken down. This one we use firewood. And uh, here is our pantry. So, Laura will take you through uh, just taking some of the shots of what is there. That is flour, most of it is flour, white flour. 
And then we also usually have some rings there. Let me see if I can get a present for you. Uh -huh. Not working very well. Electricity, we need a placement of a bulb right there. So anyway, that's our pantry. Most of that is flour, which they cook uh, some white stuff, and then with the greens that you have seen there, uh, we are able to feed them. Uh, sometimes like that's able to take us for a month, and so we have to keep on buying. This place is where we usually do um, uh, utensils uh, cleaning, and, uh, and, 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 and this what you are seeing here is where our boundary line goes through. Up on top there is a, a 3,000 liter water tank, which is what we use domestically here. This, is a, this was meant to be for only 10 or 20 kids. But uh, we have ended up, we ended up, we began this home with only 10 kids. It has grown now to 52 children. So, and where they get water from for cooking and for... first deal when we came into this property here. And uh, as you can see, this is a store where we keep uh, some of the stuff. Uh, you know, even though it's closed like a, like a store for, uh, what can I say, uh, toilet papers, uh, mattresses, or things to do with like cups. You know, where they drink and take tea. Let uh, Freddy juncture. I would like to uh, let Freddy explain more about this particular room here, and. Uh, Within no time, you will explain to us what is usually done in this particular room here. To you, Freddy. Uh, welcome to what we call our empowerment room. We believe in empowering the boys so that they can be independent and dependable. That's why we created this room. Uh, as you can see, currently there's a boy who is around 14 years old. He's the one constructing these uh, tables for the computers from the old pallets. If you can recognize this, they are from the factories where we store they usually place stuff on it, so the boy is trying to convert them into something better. And everything that you see from the TV up there, it's an innovation by one of the boys. Up here, it's an innovation of one of the boys. Instead of thro throwing away a dead uh, TV, we've turned it into a bulb. And many other projects that are done inside here, just to keep the boys busy, creative, and dependable. Thank you for, for this moment.
All right. This area we do uh, kind of uh, animal uh, like uh, chicken rearing. We have some goats here. We have some rabbits. Boys like you know keeping certain things. So chicken, goats, and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna take you around, and then you will see what we do on the other side. Let's go. We have 36 rabbits. That's part of our empowerment program for the boys. Uh, all these houses were constructed by the help of the visitors who are very good to us. And this is one of the sections. 